I'm going to show you very important stretching for your body, okay? Upper body, your pectoralis and your anterior deltoid, okay? So, you need to find the word like here, okay? Like this, alright? So, make your elbow like this high, your shoulder high, okay? And like this, okay? Okay? So, different leg. You, when you do the uh, your right side, and then your left side forward, okay? It's not really matter, you can do this way too, whatever you're comfortable, okay? Yeah, keep it like this. So you're not doing this. This is static stretching, minimum 20 seconds, but studies show that 30 seconds is better, okay? So static stretching, 30 seconds, reset, okay? Nice and slowly. So, looks like this, okay, like that, alright, so after the workout, okay, next one is your deltoid, so you want to do a deduction here, a deduction, a deduction, then slowly pull like this, I can feel my deltoid muscle right here, okay, 30 seconds, reset, okay, Other side as well. The deltoid. Then next one, your forearm flexor like this, like that. Okay. Yeah, I can feel my forearm like this. Front view. Okay. Then next one is your triceps like this straight up and the bending and like this this way okay the other side like this way this is right now I'm stretching my triceps if you have short like shoulder issue like pinch uh, sensation then not to do, I show you this one, sitting down position, other one, okay? And next one here, next stretching. Nice and slowly. You don't have to pull in like here, okay? Don't do too much. Nice and slowly. Stretch your muscle. Okay? And last one, you want to do. This is thoracic flexion. You're stretching your upper back. Okay? Same time, you can stretch your posterior deltoid. And let this muscle side as well. Like that. After the workout, start stretching. 30 seconds, 3 sets. I'm going to show you use a Swiss ball and static stretching. Okay? First one, it's very important stretching for your body. Latissimus dorsi. Latissimus dorsi is very very important because it does a deduction, all right, and then extension and medial rotation. If you have short this muscle, it's really hard to do this movement. You need to get a good flexibility here. Okay, how do you do that? So right here, put your right hand here, middle of the ball. Okay. And then this one right here, okay? So go down nice and slowly, like this. Okay? You don't do it here, like this. It's really, you don't really get the good stretching. Also, it's not really good, okay? Exactly, your hand center, like this. So static stretching, minimum 20 seconds, but ideally 30 seconds, 3 set is good for you. Okay? And switch other side like that. So after the, you do three set, thirty second. After the first set, you want to go supination, palm outside, like not here, and this way. The reason why latissimus dorsi attach you inside of your humerus, so. It's internal rotator. When you make external rotation, and then you can do better stretching. But it's when you do the, here, 
first, it's really hard for you. So starting here, first set, and then second set, and last set, and then a little bit farther. Okay? This is for your like this. First set. Okay, to both sides and second set. Alright? And then last set you want to do. Okay? So now some people they have you know shoulder uh, issue that it's really hard to do triceps this movement then what you can do you can do here use a ball and then put your triceps here like that so I can really feel my triceps even push this your form so stretching okay other side so elbow is middle of the ball center Okay, like this. Okay, now I'm going to show you hip flexor stretching. Use a ball. You don't have to use a ball if you have a good balance, but I like to use the balance, use the ball because after the workout, you know I don't have that much energy, so I want to use the ball here. So, make my exercise easier, like that, okay? So my hip flexor stretching here, actually this is better and this is the best, okay? Now you see the front view, can I show you with other board here, like this, so shiba part, like this, okay, forward this. Then, this is your working lactose femoris, one of your quadriceps stretching, so hip flexors. Make your heart here, and then you do lateral flexion, and split slightly rotation, and then you can also same time stretching your uh, oblique as well, really good stretching. Static stretching, 30 seconds, reset, after the working out. Switch legs, you can do it this one. All right, now I'm going to show you hamstrings stretching, okay? So the ball is keep moving around, so I'm going to put this ball over there. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? Yes. Okay. So, hamstring stretching. So I like the stretching one at a time. So number one, here, okay? I'm stretching my left hamstring. Actually, I show you my right side. So, make sure lower back straight go down like this way. Okay, not like this way. Okay, straight. You can feel the difference. This and this. You can get a good stretching with this way. All right. And then everything okay. And then you can do this. Two legs. Right now, this is sometimes hard for you. Then you can do here, lay down, and then like this. Hamstring stretching is nerve component here. Okay, so everything else you want to do 30 second three sets. But sometimes your hamstring stretching here. Some people say numbness and tingly your toe. Because this is nerve component, your sciatic nerve go right here, straight here, and right this point, split your tibial branch and peroneal branch. If you hold this movement too much long time, too much mechanical compression here, so then what you can do, you here, but I show you my left side. So use your left hand, and then actually this side. Use your left hand to your grab your right side right here your bicep femoris you like look you can feel that feels like guitar strength here one thing here and grab it and hold it and go down like this and stretching so two seconds straight up and go down yeah that's because this is nerve component everything else you want to do stretching 
30 second, 3 set. So I'm stretching my hamstrings. Okay? So you want to stretch your gluteus maximus. You can do hip flexion. Because the gluteus maximus is your hip extensor, you need to do flexion your hip. Like that. Okay? Good. And really good. And other side as well. Abduction, hip, inner, inner thigh stretching, okay. posing is like this. You should be able to do this position. Some people cannot do this way, like only can do this one. And you have to do this one all the time. You don't lose your uh, strength. So after, I'm talking about right now, after the working out, you're not doing here, ballistic stretching and then dynamic warm up, okay? So like this. Static stretching. Yes, and last one, you want to go here, stretching your spine. Yeah, and bottom set as well. And go straight, all the way, stretch your whole body like that. And then thinking about your working out today, and then remind yourself something you want to do better, and then make a note, and next workout, do better. Start stretching, 30 seconds, 3 seconds.